something? Hmm. It's really cool that Felicia should let us hang like this and be alone. Yeah. It's nice to kiss you and not worry who's gonna see us. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like danger. Otherwise, I wouldn't be a cop. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is this dangerous? No, but sneaking around trying to find a corner where I can be close to you is... Close like this? Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come here. I got something for you. You put me on a pedestal? Mm-hmm. Ooh, another present? Yep. Oh, well, let me guess. Keys to your heart. Kind of. Well, there's three, so let's see. The other two are the keys to your mind and the keys to your soul, right? The keys to my apartment. I want you to move in with me. Hey, Nick. It would not be too late for me and my lovely fiance over here to get a couple of nice, big, fat, juicy burgers, would it? Uh, over here, guys. Plenty of room in my table for you two. Listen, Nick, if the uh, kitchen's closed, we can go someplace else. Oh, come on, sit down, sit down. I got, I got plenty of fries here. We can share. What's the matter? You, you, you don't want to eat with me? Where the hell are you, Donna? Give me another drink. Make it a double. Oh, who hey, take care of that. I'm the groom, the, the groom. The groom gets whatever the groom wants on the groom's wedding. That's good enough. Your message was loud and clear. There's no mistaking that. What message? Um, I think we made love earlier in the stables, lest you forget. <sighs> It was better than it's ever been for me, wasn't it for you, too? Donna, making love with you has is, is, is always been great. It, it's when we get out of bed that we have problems. Not anymore. Why? What, what changed? We've changed. Michael, you almost died. You said to yourself that surviving leukemia made you realize how precious time is. Well, yeah, but... but and uh, two people... Cannot have that kind of passion unless they have a very, very deep connection. Right. Well, what about Matthew? I mean, what about your connection with him? I'll think about that tomorrow. What are you, Scarlett O'Hara? Come on, I thought you loved this guy. I thought I did too, but, but why are you why are you bringing Matthew up? Well, because I mean, I I thought I thought you, you and he were a two. I mean, you were. Well, we. Yes, we've we've had a a magnetism, but. Why are you doing this? You don't need to be self-sacrificing and noble. All we have to do is just admit that we still love each other. God gave us a miracle when he started playing that old song on the radio. Oh, honey. That wasn't God. I mean, that was us. We're responsible for what we did. That's just my point. Not only has your leukemia gone into remission, but you've been given a second chance with the love of your life. You're back, and I'm here. I'm yours. Oh, Donna, look, you and I have got to get something straight before this goes any further. I love you. You know that. I right? know that. After tonight, I have okay. no doubt. And, and I mean, we, we definitely have chemistry. Chemistry. Is the word. Chemistry. That's yes. right. All you I have mean, to I'm... do is be in the same room with us. You can feel the sexual attraction. Right. Well, we've always had that connection. Yeah. Right? I mean, 
I know that sometimes you you could finish my sentences. I mean, before well, I even... you even know, know what I... you're thinking. Right, right. Look, when I came back to Bay City, I, I will admit that the first time I saw you... I know, I, I know. I felt the same way. It was as if we were breathing the same rhythm and everybody else was out of sync. Yeah, but... Honey, don't you don't you think we know each other so well? Because you know we've been we've been married three times. I mean, it'd be pretty strange if we didn't know each other. That I well, know. You know we were meant to be together. We were meant to be together. Right. Um, what's the with the bag? <clears throat> oh, nothing. It's just a couple of things: a toothbrush, something to sleep in. Although I kind of like this. Uh, why? Because it's late and I want to go to bed. Here? With me? Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, no, 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 no. That's, it's, it's, it's not, not going to work. What do you mean it's not going to work? <sighs> Donna, just because we rekindled an old flame. There was nothing old about that flame. It was scorching and searing and passionate. Yes, and yes, hot. yes. I know. It was, it was wonderful. It was fantastic. I enjoyed every minute of it, okay? But, but, but that doesn't mean that it has to change our lives. Michael, we made love. Right. But come on, I mean, don't you think maybe that we should think about this as, as maybe just a, a, a lapse in judgment? Come on, I mean, we can, we can remember this, this wonderful evening we had as a, as a beautiful memory and, and get on with our lives. Our lives. What lives? Our, our lives, Donna. You know, like the the one you have with Matthew and the one I have with with Nick and and and, and the dog. I mean, you know, the lives that we had before tonight. You know, the one where like I was in remission and you were engaged to be married. I wasn't to the... just engaged to be married. I was supposed to be married now. What? While I was rolling around in the hay with you, Michael Hudson, I was supposed to be saying I do to Matthew Corey. Another round for the groom. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Nick, deal with this. Oh. Hey, Matt. Matt. Wait, 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 wait. Just Matt. tell your friend to save a little time and bring the bottle over here. Hey. hey. Matt, easy. I think you've had enough. You think, oh, hey, I'm not even started yet. Come on, drinks for everybody, you know me? Hey, Matt, <laughs> Matt, you're drunk. Listen, and we're not going to serve you anymore. You get okay? the hell out of here, because you know what? The last person I want to celebrate with is Michael Hudson's little kid. Uh, there's Matt. Why don't we join him? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, I asked first. Hey, Doug. Yo. Sassy's is going to have some stiff competition when my man Joey Carlino opens his restaurant, huh? Let me see. Come on, come on. Jake, I really don't think this is a good idea. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you out. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure Joe told you that uh, we uh, we went through some stuff when we almost froze our butts off in that meat lot. Yeah, he told me. I told him. Yeah. Meat, you know, near death experiences, they have a, a way of making people blood, Pauline. You know what I mean? Remember when we had to jump off that cliff together? She told me. Yeah, I told him. Look, this is not going to work. Sure it is. No, there's no sense pushing it. You know what? You know what, Joe? We all three live in the same town. We're bound to run into each other. <laughs> like tonight. Exactly. This might be a sign that we're ready to take the next step. Yeah. What step is that? Well, you know, Jake. Our divorce. Hmm. Gary, you... You really want me to live with you? I just want you, period. And this, to me, feels like the next step. Well, it doesn't to me. Oh. What are you saying, that I read you that wrong? No, I, you didn't read me wrong. Well, you what then? I shouldn't that's have said not, what I not, said, that's right? That's not it. No, no, I'm glad you said what you said. I'm glad you said that you were falling in love with me. I'm falling, too. It's... I, it's... I don't know. It's... Falling can be dangerous, you know, and it just depends on where you land. And there's so much that we don't know. I mean, it's just the beginning. But moving in together, I... It would be like starting a book in the middle. Yeah, but we're not starting anything. I mean, I was your police academy instructor, the one that, that you thought had it in for you. Mm -hmm. And we beat that. Right? And I, I mean, the rules say that we can't, we can't be together, but look where we're standing. And I kiss you. And you kiss me back, and we make love. 
I mean, you even stopped me from drinking, Josie. Yeah, oh, okay, you brought it up. You're drinking. Gary, staying sober should be the number one thing on your list, not picking out curtains with me. What, you think I'm gonna fall off the wagon? Sometimes I think you're afraid you will. So there's that. And the department. I mean, Captain McNamara had you post a memo about no fraternizing. So until we can figure out a way around that, I just don't think we should push it. Besides, Charlene's out of town, and John just got suspended, so... I mean, the last thing he needs to hear right now is that I'm, I'm leaving home. What? Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> because I can't help but smile. You're so beautiful when you think for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you won't move into my apartment, does that mean you don't have the hots for me anymore? I'm burning up, Lieutenant. Oh, good. <laughs> well, then keep these, would you? Come on. It means you can come over whenever you want. Okay. Whenever you have the urge, you just let yourself in. You don't have to call first. You don't have to ring the doorbell. Oh, I get it. You don't want me to wake you up. No, you better wake me up. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. I mean, what's wrong? What's wrong? No. What, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come late. A divorce. Sure. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to spring it on you. I'm talking about I was going to bring it up myself. You were? Yeah. Well, that's great. That means we're on the same <laughs> wavelength. Excellent. You know, because Joe and I, we're trying to plan our future. Uh-huh. Hey, Nick, do you, do you think I could, I could, I could get a, a fill-up over here on this? Do you guys want anything? You want to get married? Yeah. Do you guys set a date? Well, it's kind of hard to do that since I'm still... To my, my... <laughs> yeah. Why, thanks, Nick. Thanks. But, you know me, I'm not, uh, not one to stand in the way of true love. I mean, you know, it's whatever you want, Cupcake. Oh, Jake. I'm sorry. It's sort of fell right out there. You know, hop, I'll get with the program. Jake, I, I don't want anything from you. I don't want you to give me anything. Not money, not property, nothing like that. Well, I guess I, I got off easy, huh? You know, <laughs> I thought that a friendly divorce was too much to ask for, but... But you're really being great about this, isn't he, Joke? Yeah. It's not gonna be a problem. Great. Listen, you drop the papers and you have your lawyer send them to my lawyer. Okay, can't we get one of those no-fault no, divorce things? No, 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 no. We definitely, we definitely have to go by the book. Besides, there's a serious matter that we have to discuss, and I... Regards to child support for Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Buster? My turtle. <laughs> he only stuck his neck out for Paulina, but, uh, well, he'll adjust. I, I had to. That was Jake! I, think. I thought I told you. You know, when he came back to town, I told you to stay away from my sister. Matt, what? It's okay. What's the matter? Matt. You didn't get the message? Matt, Hello? Okay. I need your three sheets to the wind, my You friend. know... <laughs> Joe and Paulina, they belong together. She doesn't, he doesn't jerk her around like you. Matt, used to. Matt, how much have you had to drink? You know, Matt. Just don't break up that happy couple. Oh, don't man, break them up. up hey, Matt, Matt, Matt. What's the matter? I'm not a kind of you guy who steals someone else's wife. The kid is. Matt. Shut up. Yeah. Cut it out. Come here. Just tell me you're gonna marry. Yeah, what is you're gonna that? marry Joe. Yes. You're, you're gonna... Yes, Matt, I'm gonna marry him, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Now, tell me something, Jake. Our way, Joe. Nice guy routine. For Paulina's benefit, right? No, I'm just trying to help Paulina out, so? It's a bunch of bull from start to finish. Right? Good buddy? Man, I have never seen you like this. What is wrong? I lost her. I lost Donna. <laughs> Married? You never mentioned you were getting married to Matthew tonight? Well, in the heat of the moment, it flew out of my mind. Flew out of your mind? I don't believe this. Michael, you knew. I, I what? The cufflinks, my great-grandfather's cufflinks. Why do you think I drove all the way out to the farm to get them back? I don't know. For your great-grandfather's shirt. For a wedding present for Matthew, obviously. 
Donna, you stood up your fiance, I, I mean, at the altar for some cufflinks? That's the most selfish thing you've ever done. Selfish? Who put his arms around me in the stables? Oh, well, Who danced I, I, me right out of my clothes and into the hay? Hey, wait a minute. Now, I, I, I didn't way exactly you twist your arm. Don't pretend like you didn't know what you were doing, Michael. Donna, darn you. It's not my fault. We fit together so well. And you want me right now, don't you? Yeah, I want you right now. Don't you understand? If I spent all night here with you, making you happy in the morning, you would wake up with the worst hangover you ever had. Hangover? Yeah. Yeah, because... Lucky, we're, we're good with each other. We're the best, but... We've got, like, too much of a good thing. You know, that, that, that's why we, we can never stay together, because... Donna, that's why we argue so much. Because we... When we're together, we almost snuff each other out. We argue to, to, to give ourselves breathing space, to give ourselves some distance. And, you know, th th there might be a way to, to, to fix this. Fix what? Well, fix it so that you can still marry Matthew. Josie, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to ruin your evening together. I just didn't no. want to be alone. No, Felicia, I was just leaving. No, please don't do that. I, I, I hate that I'm doing this to you. No, you're not doing anything. Are you kidding? You, boy, thanks to you, we had a great time. Yeah, yeah. I, and besides, I, I should get home. I mean, John is, the poor guy, he's really going through a rough time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so take care, all right? Yes, yes. Bye. One second. Good night, Lieutenant Sinclair. Good night, Officer Watts. Mm. Mm. You be careful now. I will. Thank you for the book. Oh, make sure. And you... the uh, <laughs> keys. Please come by and read me a chapter sometime, won't you? I will. Okay. I will. See ya. Bye. All right. Tell me, what is it? I'm your sponsor. I'm not supposed to be leaning on you. I mean, this is really against all the rules here. Oh, uh, listen, look, I threw the rule book out a long time ago, so why don't you just tell me what the problem is, okay? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never felt like this before. I feel like I'm... I'm gonna fall apart. Just relax. I can't. Just relax. If I do, I'm gonna... I'm gonna break into a million pieces. No! John! John! You scared me. What are you doing here? I just love it when I find something that makes baking so much easier. It's Crisco Sticks. They're easy to measure. And you keep them in the cupboard. John, what, what's up? Did something happen? No, no. Uh, I was just just out getting some air. At midnight? What, what are right. you doing? Are, are you on one of those undercover things or something? I thought you were off tonight. Oh, no, I, I am. I am. I'm off. I, I, I went and had a beer with some of the rookies, you know, complained about work, how hard they're working us. But actually, I was on my way home. I didn't want you to be alone, you know, with Mama gone and... And this lousy day. You should have gone to a meeting is what I should have done. Well, that's a little difficult to do at this hour. I know. I missed the last one. I didn't know what to do. You did the right thing. You came here. And in turn, you kept yourself from drinking. No, oh, you have no idea how tempted I was. Oh, I have an idea how tempted you were. You know how tempted I was? When Ryan died, I was this close to having a beer. If I had acted on my impulse, I would have destroyed myself tonight. Oh, God. But you didn't. All right? You hung in there. No. I wanted to. That's the terrible part. I really wanted it more than anything. And if I had let myself, I would have ruined other people's lives, not just my own. Felicia, you can't care for the whole world on your own, all right? Listen to me. It, it, all the pressure you put on yourself with Lorna and how she's going to think or no. feel if you fall apart, you don't it's going to make you fall. You don't understand, Gary. 
Felicia, I'm not leaving here tonight. I'll do whatever it takes to keep you from taking a drink. I don't want a drink. That's not the problem. It's what I'm feeling. It's what I want. It's what I almost gave myself over to tonight. What? I'm... Did you say something? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying that, you know, it's, it's a lousy time for Emma to have had a stroke. Not that there's a good time, but, you know, it just seems like you really need Mama right now. Yeah, well, I spoke to Charlene. Great, great. I told her uh, about the suspension, and that the loan was turned down. It was not a pleasant conversation. Still, you know, still it always makes you feel better when you talk to Mama. Yeah, it does. A good friend of mine told me that a call to my wife was exactly what I needed. I was trying to help him. Who, who? Cass? I really believe that I could turn it around, but you know what? I can't. Carrie, I am heading into a bad place, and I'm going to take him with me. Felicia, listen to me. You are one of the best friends that I've ever had. You know that? Now, if you were trying to help a friend, I don't see what could be wrong with that. There's nothing bad about that unless there's something you're not telling me. Now, what is it? I'm on the level, Joe. It's pretty hard to buy coming from you. Well, you know, the thing that most people forget about me is that I'm a fair guy. I mean, I fought hard, I'm not denying that, but uh, I lost you one, Paulina loves you. Game over. You make sure you remember that. I was at Mom's house with the Justice of the Peace. Vicky and Morgan were there as witnesses, and no bride, no bride showed up. Matt, there has to be some kind of explanation. <gasps> yeah, she dumped me. No, honey, honey, Donna loves you. Donna loves you. You two have worked through too much to be together. I can't believe that she just chucked it all. Hey, maybe she got cold feet, okay? Maybe something happened to her on the or, way to or Rachel's. Or someone. What? Or someone. What? You know, Donna. Donna has been married to Michael so many times that it, it's instinctual. When when the time comes for her to say I do, she 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 beats a path to his what door. What do you it's say? What are you saying? What? That she went back to Michael? She please? nursed no. him in through his illness. He's all she thought about for weeks. Damn, Michael Hudson. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't quite catch that. Stay away from me. Just stay. Get away from me. But you, get away! What do you think? You think that Michael's trying to break you and Donna up? I'll bet my life on it, pal. You're wrong. Am I wrong? The, the guy's happy for oh, you. Where is she? Where is she? This is our wedding night. If she's not with him, where the hell is she? Stop. I can't marry Matthew now. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Not so fast. I mean, he doesn't have to know what happened, right? I know what happened. I just gave myself to you completely and unreserved. Okay, we got swept up in the past. I mean, that's all the that happened. The past had nothing to do with it, Michael. That was desire. Every time we've looked at each other lately, all we wanted to do was go to the nearest bed. Well, uh, Don't deny it. Well, that's a little strong. Okay, pretend all you want to, but this has been coming for a long time. Even when you were in that damned isolation room, you were flirting with me. Flirting comes as second nature to me, Donna. I mean, I mean, with you, I didn't mean anything by it. You didn't mean anything? Uh, all right. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I... You did... You <clears throat> got me all stirred up? Mount St. Helen erupted again, and you say it didn't mean anything? I meant everything I said. Can we hold on to the, the couple hours of uh, pleasure we had? Is it's just a, it's just a, a really great memory, huh? The truth is, Donna, I don't want you back. Well, tough. You got me. Sorry that your engagement got busted up, but it got nothing to do with Michael, okay? Oh, he got to her. Oh, by remote control. <laughs> the guy's been at the farm all night by himself, minding his own business, not busting up your engagement. Yeah. So knock it off. Hey, come hey, here. Hey, come hey, here. Hey, Don't hey, walk hey, away. 
How do you know he's alone? You've been here all night, haven't you? You know what? Let me tell you something else, Corey. If he wanted to steal her back, he wouldn't have to do it in the middle of the night. Come on, hey, come on, hey. Stop already, all right, you guys? I mean, Matt's dangerous anyway, but drunk, he's just sick. So why don't you just let him play, all right? Yeah. I want your advice, Jake. I'll ask for it. Oh, man, everybody's Jake. a tough Hey, Jake. Shh. Matt, I could not help but over here. Well, <laughs> everyone knows now. I might as well just stand it. Hey, you come on. Right yeah, now? relax, huh? Listen to me. Come here. Can I give you some free advice? Yeah, well, I... You got nothing to lose. No, you got a lot to lose if you love her. Do you love her? No, I do. Then if you think Hudson has got your woman, you go and take her back. Don't you listen to him. Matt, you get in the guy's face and you take your fiance back before it's too late. Joe, that's lousy advice. Matt, yes! you're in no shape to go start. Good. Matt, yeah. no. Good Stay advice. here, please. Stay have some coffee. Oh, Joe. How can you say you don't want me back? Because the truth of the matter is, is that you don't want me back either. Not don't really. Don't tell me what I want. You don't have a clue what I oh, want. Oh, I know exactly what you want, Donna, because that's exactly why we're here. I know you. I know you inside and out. I know that you want a guy with, with, with fire. You, you want electricity. You want sparks. But in the cold light of day, Donna, you want somebody who's going to be here for you. And that's not me, honey. That's never been me. I mean, it may have looked like me laying there in, in that hospital. I gotta tell you, that, that pathetic guy is gone. I was given life back. And I want to live my life I, with no strings and, and no attachments. I've got to live my life like that because that's who I am. But I love you. <laughs> Then why are you doing this? This is our last chance. Why are you throwing this away? I'm not. Don't you see? You are. You're throwing away your life with Matthew. If you don't go back there and, and find a way to get him back. I can't. <clears throat> here. I want you to take these cufflinks. And you go find Matthew, and you ask him to forgive you for standing him up, and then you marry him. Okay? I tried to do that. I went back to Rachel's after we were at the stables. That's where we were supposed to be married, and he was gone. Well, he's got to be somewhere. Who knows? He might be back at your house waiting for you. You go find him. I can't. I can't do it. He expects complete honesty from me. And if I tell him what we did, it will break his heart. Oh, well, you're right. You're right. I mean, Matthew's a, he's a good guy, and, and he deserves better than that. And I guess uh, what we deserve is to live with the guilt of what we've done. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe the only thing that we can do is lie. I can't do that. <clears throat> mm -mm. Donna, you may be a little rusty, but truth to tell, there is absolutely no one in the world who's better at lying through her teeth than you. You want me to lie to Ma Matthew? Yeah, yeah, as only uh, you can. And after maybe a little groveling, I I'm sure he'll, he'll forgive you. <clears throat> Michael, he'll know. Every time he sees me looking at you, he'll see me wanting to make no, love to you. No, 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 no. Hey, Donna, stop that. You're wrong. That was, that was just a time warp between the two of us, yes. And it's over, honey. It's over. Look, Matthew is young, and he expects so much from you. I mean, come on, that's, that's, that's why you love him so much. He expects more from you than, than I ever did. I don't deserve anybody as wonderful as that. I deserve somebody as awful as I am. Oh. <clears throat> Donna, I'm telling you, listen to me, listen to me. If we slip into the same old groove tomorrow morning, no. this world will have three more 
the most miserable people no, I've ever seen. No, what's yeah. wrong with the old groove? I'm very comfortable with the old groove. You're scared, sweetie. <laughs> You're just scared. That's why you came here tonight. <gasps> but Donna, you can't hide forever. You can't. This is your life. Isn't it about time you figured it out? I tell you what, let's go home and I'll make you some scrambled eggs. Well, I'm not really hungry, but um, I'll walk you to your car. Yeah, my car is just around the corner. I know. And Besides, I'm I am a cop. And I'm your stepfather, so I'll walk you to your car. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, now this is what we're going to do. You're going to pick out your favorite book. Oh, no. Yes, and no, I'm going to get no. you some of that no. tea, that healthy stuff that You're makes you sleep. Home. Felicia. I'm taking you off the hook. No. Now, come on, get out of here. I'm not going. You're, you're shutting me out. Hey, I'm not. I just need a little time alone, that's all. Thank you for being so good to me. You're welcome. Go on, get out of here. All right. Come I'm... on. All right. I guess you didn't see the sign. We're closed, you know. Does that apply to me? John, what are you doing here? I came to thank you for what you did tonight. So you called Charlene. Good. How's her sister? What did, what did Charlene say? Charlene's coming home as soon as Emma's out of the hospital. Good. You must be very relieved. She was grateful for the call. I know she's worried about you. Did you tell her what happened, that you were suspended? Yes. But I didn't tell her that she owed the call to you. John, please. You were the strong one tonight, Felicia. If it hadn't been for you, John, you've, uh, you've had a lot of things happening lately, you know, the trouble with the hospital, and it makes you vulnerable, that's all. No, I've all. been selfish. No, you haven't. We're friends. I understand. Well, I want to understand you. I want to know how you feel. It doesn't matter. It matters to me. Felicia, what do you need? I swear, if anything happens to Matt tonight, I will never forgive you. What'd I do? You practically told him to go and beat up Michael Hudson. I've never seen Matt like that. He wants his fiance back. I can relate. I didn't go back to you because he started throwing punches at Jake. I went back to you because I love you. Well, you wouldn't know it now by the way you're yelling right now. This is not yelling. This is mouth talking. Okay, I... It hurts to see my brother hurt so much. And to be honest with you, I... I didn't think I would be dealing with this person. Well, Lena, we can't get married until you get the divorce. I know. I don't know when it was a cheeseburger. Now I couldn't even eat if you paid me. At least Jake took it pretty well, don't you think? You really think so? Well, he said he didn't want to stand in our way. I says, when do you believe anything Jake says? Joe, this is going to be hard enough without you being negative, too. Paulina, do you want the divorce? Yes! I, I just don't want to hurt Jake any more than I have to, all right? You can understand that. Honey, the guy cannot be trusted. Now, I, I want to be as positive about this divorce as I possibly can, okay? And if that means giving Jake the benefit of the doubt, well, I don't think that's any skin off our noses, do you? 
I didn't think about it, sweetheart. We're the ones who have each other. He's all alone. And so, do we have a deal or what? Come on, Jake, find me. I got no experience doing any of this stuff. Make your own probation, right? Right, I hot-wired a car. Just make me change uh, bonds. Yeah, I wired a couple of those in my time. Oh, yeah? The yeah, difference is I didn't get caught. All right, so you're stinking rich, right? <laughs> right? They told me that I could give Donald Trump a run for his money. Clue, I didn't get that way busting tables. Now, you can be a good boy and get your hand slapped for playing with matches. Or, you can let that heat that you got in your gut build and set the world on fire. Nick, you go with me. You don't have to wait for Daddy's trust fund with all the strings attached. You have money and your own place and freedom. So what do you say? We have a deal? to go home right now. I don't want you to be alone. John, I will be fine, I promise. It's too late for you to be down here all by you yourself. You can't be this close to me and expect me to be strong enough to turn away from you. All I know is that you have to go home right now. Please. Go home. Keep the change. Wait. You're not still mad at me, are you? <laughs> hmm? I can't stay mad at you. I love you too much. Oh, yeah? Not make out the book. Hey, come here, baby. Let me tell you something. When I get this close to you, everybody else drops away. We're not alone. <laughs> well, let's ditch this joint. Good idea. Come on. Okay. Good night, Jake. Good night. <laughs> Anyone ask you, I'm not involved. The only way you know Jake McKinnon is he used to give excellent tips when you used to be a busboy. You got a deal, man. You got a deal. Where? 
Where is she? Where's Donna? Matthew, please be home. Please. Matthew, I need you. Oh. Oh, I want to tell you how much I love you. I call Victoria. Victoria. Oh, I can't call Victoria. The children will wake up. Oh, shut up. <laughs>